Scream Queens. So right off the back, user discretion is advised as I'm going to be talking about the entirety of the first episode of Fox's new horror comedy, Scream Queens. If you haven't seen the show or plan on watching it in the near future, then you best be turning the review off now, as I might talk about stuff that gives plot points away, and since the show is still relatively new, I actually don't want to spoil anything this time. Scream Queens is the new Spookadook show brought to us by Ryan Murphy, the creator of such hit shows like Nip Tuck, Glee, and American Horror Story. American Horror Story could have its very own Swahaloween series, and maybe it will next year, but I don't want to blow my load and do the whole thing now because there's literally way too much to talk about in one night's video. But, there's Scream Queens, which as of uploading this video, I think there's only about six or seven episodes having aired on TV at this point, so it's still a relatively new show. So hopefully, even if you didn't heed my warnings above, I'm only spoiling episode one. So you can use this as a starting point and continue watching the show. Scream Queens is a horror comedy that just doesn't feel right. For me, it's a tonality issue. The show, or since this is the first one, this episode, starts with a pretty serious issue. A group of girls are at a party in 1995, and one of them somehow manages to have a baby without knowing it. Right off the bat, we get this cynical, sadistic theme of bratty sorority girls who abandon their friend in the bathtub just so they can listen to their favorite song. But this is our song! TLC! I am not missing waterfalls for this! The issue, of course, at least with me, is that there are no real people like this. I mean, I'm sure that there is at least a few who, in a panic, wouldn't know exactly what to do in this situation, but frankly, all of them? And that's the thing, this is supposed to be comedic, which is exactly what makes it unusual, because it's brutal uneasiness. When I think of horror comedy, I think of, like, Ghostbusters or Shaun of the Dead. The comedy element usually outpaces the horror element, and if it's a dark comedy, it usually tries to be subtle about its horror elements. And if it's a sketch comedy, like Ghostbusters, then you can kind of get the over-the-top stuff. And if it's a dark comedy, like, say, Dr. Strangelove, then the comedy is cynical and low-key. Scream Queens tries to do both, but it ends up setting this terrible tone throughout the whole thing. I mean, it just feels so all over the place. What is it trying to say? Who is the target audience here? Let's just discuss the plot a little bit further. We start with unfabulous Emma Roberts over here, Chanel Oberlin, playing a stuck-up sorority queen. So Chanel and her cohorts are like if the girls from Clueless and Mean Girls were crossed with Ted Bundy. Basically, the dean of the college, played by Jamie Lee Curtis, who, by the way, I thought was going to be the only normal person in this thing, but she turns out to just get into the fray like the rest of them, so whatever. She decides that the Kappa house that Chanel belongs to is and needs to open itself up for pledges from anyone on campus as a punishment for them being so stuck up and snotty. And here's where we're apparently allowed to make fun of deaf people. I love Taylor Swift. I know the lyrics to every one of her songs. And I don't let the facts that I'm deaf stop me from singing them at the top of my lungs whenever I get the chance. Deaf Taylor Swift. Real name, Tiffany something. And like all deaf people, she has horrible halitosis. You know, that's fucking classy. Chanel decides the most logical way to scare the new pledges away is to stage a fucking murder. But to be expected, the fake murder she plans turns into a real murder, because we're operating on terrible sitcom logic at this point. So from this point on, we're now into this whole thing as a whodunit murder mystery, because Chanel didn't actually commit the murder, but someone had to have, and now the sorority is just being stalked by a serial killer who wears a devil costume. You know, normal college stuff. See, the issue here is that even if you look past all of the tonality and bullshit plot mechanic problems, the big thing is that this is a comedy series trying to do what's already been done before. See, the characters here are purposefully walking cliches, but the thing is, making parodies of these cliches has now become a cliché. Do we really need the sassy black friend? Or worse, just the sassy black characters in general? The killer is in the house! Why you got a knife in your throat? 
Do we really need the butch lesbian? Do we really need the girl in the deck brace? Are these really funny characters at this point? Jesus, it's fucking 2015, not 2002. This ultimately reminds me of the 2000 horror comedy film Scary Movie. See, Scary Movie operated on parody tropes much in the same way that the airplane films or the Hot Shot movies did. It was one of the last good spoof movies before the genre completely destroyed itself. Though, ironically, it was the very series that created the genre movie movies. And you know the ones I'm talking about. Epic movie, disaster movie, date movie, etc. Anything that had a big red logo on a white background tended to be a terrible movie. And that's really what this seems to be trying to do. It, it wants to be Scary Movie if it were written by boring white people instead of the usually talented Wayne Brothers. The Scary Movie franchise, ironically enough, as it continued on, became more and more of a mockery of itself as it tried to appeal to the more mainstream and the ratings dropped from an R to a PG-13. Scream Queens is just kind of that. Since it's on cable television, it's stuck with that PG-13 style cap that never lets it go above and beyond with its scares. The whole thing just looks gaudy, and the murders are so over the top that they're just stupid, and the comedy portions fall flat. I like the idea, I really do. I mean, horror comedy when done well could be really effective. And you know what, we'll actually explore that concept tomorrow night. I give Scream Queens a 5 pumpkins out of 10 for originality, but it's still just middle of the road. If you want to watch the whole series and judge for yourself, it's now streaming on Hulu and something called Fox Now. And so that ends tonight's Swa Halloween review. Stay tuned for more spooktacular content. Though, if you're looking for real horror comedy tonight, look no further than the American Republican National Debate on CNBC for something funny and scary. It's funny that Donald Trump is running for president. It's scary that he actually was leading in the polls. <laughs>